From some fantastic design to inspiring partnerships with frontline workers and a unique homegrown manufacturer of kits, there have been some amazing things coming out of the UAE League this season. Stay tuned, we're going to take you through them all right now. So we're going to look at five kits that we really like uh, and the stories behind them. Um, and I want to start at number four, actually. I want to keep number five for after number one. Yeah, good idea. You know, there's, a, idea. there's a method to the madness, but yeah. we'll get there. I'm um, that, so yeah. I want to start at number four. And, um, you know, a, a kit that recently launched um, in conjunction or in partnership with uh, frontline workers at Health Point Clinic. Of course, it's uh, Al Jazeera with um, their new Puma uh, partnership. Now, uh, I'm a sucker for uh, pinstripes, as you yeah, can see. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. And uh, so what they did was they, they released these limited edition kits um, with a, a white pinstripe, uh, sorry, a white, a white kit with a black pinstripe, rather, yeah. and then a, a red kit with a you know, nice kind of, um, uh, well, no, black, black and red stripes, yeah. rather, um, and, uh, and then kind of put that out and, and then donated those kits to frontline workers. Yeah. Um, after you know, no, it's after a really, they've been created, really, really great uh, really initiative by, yeah. by Al Jazeera. I, yeah. really, I really, really like what they had to do yeah. there. Um, but something else that's really special that they've done as well. So not only did they work with their sponsors, Health Point, I think Adnoc as Ad well. Adnoc as well, correct? Yeah. Um, you know, working with frontline workers there during during the crisis, the pandemic. Um, they've actually inked a deal with TikTok, the the yeah. the, the, the social platform. Uh, you'll see special. you'll see on the shorts um, of Al Jazeera kits the TikTok logo. Um, it's probably the first ever partnership that i've seen and yep. i think it's been announced it is it is uh, the first it is, it is the yep. first ever partnership yep. between tiktok and a sports uh team in the world yeah which is incredible yeah i mean um, they're setting a precedent for for everybody i mean i was on a i was on a, a panel actually listening to a panel rather with um the head of sports at tiktok uh middle east um and uh head of sports from i think the uh Lat uh, latin america region mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh or the, the uh, spanish and latin america regions um and yeah they were, they were just saying that this is setting precedence around the world. So, yeah. you know. Absolutely fantastic. And it's come from the UAE props. as well. You yeah. know, it's, it's, it's featuring on the kit. Yeah. They've got a really cool TikTok account with a lot of great content on it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's quite rare, I think, for, for UAE clubs to do so much with a kit launch. Yeah. But they've done two things. Partnership with TikTok. Yeah. And working uh, alongside frontline workers and donating Correct. limited edition kits. And no, I that, think, yeah. um, you know, Based on that, the limited edition kit was a different design to the actual kit they're wearing. Correct. This season. Correct. But it was a beautiful story to tell. And I think, you yeah. know, just kind of playing into um, everything that's happening at the moment, it was just a really nice kind of opportunity to kind of start the uh, the partnership off with, you know. Yeah, really, really liked yeah. it. Really big props yeah. to Al Jazeera for doing that. And uh, looking forward to, I think, next year, the club have told us that yeah. next year's Puma kit is going to be a bespoke one. Bespoke kit, yeah. I think this year it might be uh, in partnership with Puma's uh, templates, but next year will actually be yeah. uh, something unique for them. Can't wait to see that. That's yeah. going to look fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So next up, at number three, is a pioneering club. Uh, a club that was founded in the 40s, actually, believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, they go uh, way back in Dubai. I find that really hard to believe, by the way. Yeah, I think they are probably the oldest club in the UAE, if I'm not mistaken with that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but 1945 yeah. is a long way back for the yeah. club here in the UAE. Yeah. Um, and of course, I mean, uh, for, for those watching, it's uh, Al Nasser, Al Nasser Dubai, yeah, right? Yeah, really, really pioneering club. I mean, they've been doing a lot of good stuff recently. I mean... I grew up with the club here, um, you know, being a Dubai native. They've just built a state-of-the-art stadium uh, over in Udmetha in Dubai. Absolutely fantastic. We've both been yeah, there. Yeah. Really, really loved it. Really, really designed well. Really, really well-run club. And they've recently launched a unique thing of their own. Which uh, we loved, actually. When we first saw it, we were like, we were confused. It looked like it was um, an Adidas kit. It looked like it was something that... Um, you know, you would find on some of the biggest clubs in Europe. Yeah. It had a, a sash, not a sachet, not a sachet, like sash. a sash. Um, but that was kind of like, cut. It, that's cut. Yeah. Um, and that kind of works really well with sponsor integration. Um, just yeah. kind of a, a really nice all-round really, kit. Really, really well put yeah. together kit. And, when, you know, yeah. I, I initially thought that's Adidas yeah. all over it. Yeah. Um, but when you zoom in at the logo. On further inspection, yeah. You were like, that isn't an Adidas logo. The logo is N45, and N45, we discovered, is Al Nasser's <laughs> own kit brand. So they've taken it upon themselves to create their own brand yeah. behind it. Yeah. Um, they promised to create a range of sportswear apparel, starting with this kit, which in the design stakes looks pretty good. I mean, I'd, I'd put that up against uh, some, some nice kits from around the world. Yeah. Um, so a great first effort from N45. Yeah. 
Um, but I'm really interested to know more about this brand. I mean, there's not much that we can find online about it, yeah. to be honest with you. But it's a good step in the right direction. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I, I would love to kind of just see the material, feel it, because what we read was uh, a transcript of uh, a press release that had been written in Arabic. Yeah. Um, so it didn't kind of come across as well. But I mean, we got the uh, we got the point. Yeah, there um, isn't much out there regarding N45. Yeah, but yeah. If that's their first effort at a kit, yep. very, very interested to see what they do. Yep. And big props on NASA, you know, for... Uh, Absolutely, for taking it, it upon themselves. It themselves. Yeah. You know, it's, a, yeah. it's, it's a great idea and I yeah. uh, would love to see what they do more of. Quick question. Would you like to see more more clubs do this or would, would you rather they went with kind of traditional, um, you know, kit set brands, kit yeah. manufacturers? Yeah. It, it all depends on the quality. Yeah. You know, um, I've seen these kit manufacturers spring out you know, all yep. over the world yep. and debatable quality. It yep. depends if they source good materials or not. I know in Saudi Arabia, there are a lot of similar things going on. A lot, yep. a lot of Saudi brands yep. are manufacturing kits yep. um, and a lot of clubs are manufacturing their own kits. But, uh, you know, I've not actually seen many of them in the flesh. You know, when you get a Nike kit, yep. at least a base template yep. or an Adidas kit, you're getting good quality material. Yep. Um, I'd want to know if you get similar quality material um, yeah. if you make it yourself, yeah. you know. So I'd love to see an N45 shirt in the flesh and I'll make that decision. I think R&D is a massive part of it, right? So you, the, you've got the kind of an entire, you've got entire departments that are kind of, that spend their time developing new fabrics, new materials, yeah. better breathable stuff. Uh, whereas with a smaller manufacturer, you, it's going to stagnate, you know, because... Yeah. You're, only, you're limited by your own resources. So, but then again, you, you, look at, you look at Rangers and Castor this season. Okay. You know, uh, it's a British startup. Yeah. A lot of money invested into it, yeah. but they pushed forward with regards to, you know, high, high quality material. That was their thing. That was their okay. uh, ethos as a brand. Let's let's bring it back to the UAE. R Ramay Sportswear, True. right? Ramay, I mean, yeah. Ramay, Ramay, Ramay. Yeah. Yeah. They were around for a few years uh, and they don't seem to be around anymore. Didn't see them do much in the oh. UAE. I remember they they, they sponsored Bahrain. Yep. They did Jamaica. Yeah. Um, but didn't really see them do much else out here. I don't no. know if they're still around, um, but that was an attempt. No, from I can tell you they're not because I reached out to them recently just to kind of see if, if they were and they, they've not responded. And they're definitely not. Fair nope. enough. So uh, yeah. Ramai, if you're out there, <laughs> Mr. Ramai, uh, yeah, we're, we're trying <laughs> get to get in touch. touch. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, it's a, it's a step in the right direction, definitely. Yep. Um, you know, and I'd love to see if that continues over the next few years. Yep. So um, we can get a kit. We'll try. Bring Absolutely. it on an episode and there uh, go from there. But like, Really good stuff from Anasa. Love the design. Love the initiative. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned to see what comes next. All right. So at number two is related to the club of the kit that I'm wearing right now. It yep. is uh, Alain FC. Um, always have always have good kits. Always have always really nice kind of like quality kits. Yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's the it's the purple, white, and gold that yeah. does it for me. And sometimes black. Yeah. It's very um, regal. Very kind of noble. Yeah. Very yeah. very champion esque. Yeah. You know. I, I really really do like their kits. Um, when I saw this season's kit mm -hmm. by Alain, I jumped out of my seat, basically. I said, wow, I have not seen a Nike template that does that. I mean, yep. it was yep. unreal. Yep. Um, you know, we've been through all the kits, yep. you know, uh, away from the show uh, this year across the world. Yep. And not one Nike kit has done this. Nope. The closest I saw, I think, was uh, Red Bull Salzburg in, yes. uh, in, yes, in Austria you're right. with the kind of off-center collar yep. um, that kind of threw my OCD off a little bit. <laughs> um, but the, the Alain glitch effect, fantastic. Oh, like very nice. What a, what a well-designed nice. shirt, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. Excellent, excellent job there by Nike Middle East. Yeah. You know, really, really liked what they did yeah. with it. Yeah, it, um, it feels bespoke. I mean, it speaks to, to the club. I mean, the club's all about that kind of, the, the stripes and the, you know, just that kind of... Um, just making a bold statement, right? Yeah. Um, the one thing that I, I don't understand, though, is the rationale behind yes, the kit. Yes, that's true. Which kind of threw us off. We, we got the press release. We saw the the the, the, um, the formal, the official photos that were kind of released. Yeah. We've seen the kit in action. Um, but to kind of think that it was uh, inspired by the 2003 Champions League win. Um, I didn't get that. I yeah. Mean, when, they won the, when they won the 2003 Asian Champions yeah. League, they played in white, purple, and gold horizontal stripes. Yeah. Hoops, um, as they know. Hoops, yeah. Hoops, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah. So, and they were quite wide in yep. terms of gaps and things like that. Yep. Whereas this one has narrow vertical stripes. Vertical purple stripes with yeah. gold 
pinstriping. Exactly. So I was yeah. very confused as to how it yeah. was inspired yeah. by that kit. And different purples as well. Yeah, it's not like it was an yeah. anniversary. No. Uh, you know, it didn't really, it's been 17 years yeah. since then. Um, so it's not really hitting an anniversary. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they said it was inspired by that. So the colors are there, don't yeah. get me wrong. White, yeah. uh, gold, but, and but purple. But they're always there, mate. But they're always there. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's on the kit that I'm wearing right now. You know, yes, there are no stripes on it, but yeah. they've had stripes before. Yeah. Um, I just don't. I just didn't really see that association. So a bit of a weak rationale for me. Yeah. But doesn't take away from no. Of a course not. Of course designed not. Kit. Of course not. I don't want to take anything away from the kit because, he, yeah. like you, like you said, we've not seen this kind of replicated anywhere else in the no, world. Great job. Great um, job. So I think yeah, fantastic. Um, I guess attempt there. Yeah. Uh, and I, I guess why it puts it at number two on our list, right? Yeah. For yeah. me, for me, it shows again Nike doing something unique with the region. We've touched on this in other episodes. Yeah. Um, but really, really great job, Nike Middle East. You know, loved yeah. what you did with the kit. Can't yeah. wait to see it in the shops. Yep. Um, I will definitely look at picking up one of those. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely get that on the show at some point. Very cool. Yeah. Which leaves us with number one, and a kit that we have looked at previously. Just saw it online and yeah. thought it looked yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, really, really nice looking kit. And uh, we managed to track it down. Yeah. We have the first, uh, first two kits that were distributed to anyone yep. in the UAE yep. are with us. Thanks to Umbro. Uh, yep. Really, really, really happy that they have seen the show, liked what we did, and have given us the first two kits that anyone has in the UAE of the new Al Wassel home and away jersey. We've got them right here. Yes. In this lovely box that was given to us. Al Wassel, we stand together. Umbro uh, really pulled out all the stops to do this. Honestly, um, honestly. Really, really happy that they managed to give us this kit. Big props to Umbro for this. Um, yeah. I think, you know, we were kind of blown away when, when they kind of handed over this box. And we're like, wow, we've not opened it. We've not touched it. Nope, not seen the kits. Um, uh, we've seen them, but we haven't seen them in the flesh. Yeah. I mean, we, we've, yeah. They, they only went out on, in, in store today. Yeah. Um, but yep. we haven't actually touched them. We haven't seen it. So, so like, super, super excited to get I'm this to, open. And to get this going. Let's do it. And here we go. Straight, fresh out of the box. It oh. is the Al Wassel oh. Home and Away kit by Umbro. Hot off the press. Hot off the press. What a beautiful combination. Goodness I mean, me. you know, we've seen Al Wassel play in these colors, the yellow and yep. black every season, but yep. the gold and green and there. Oh, pff, it's uh, just like, a standout. I mean, we we me. kind of we reviewed this um, a few weeks back, yeah. and we were like, we were blown away at how good it looked on the collateral that we had seen online, right? Yeah. Um, to see it in the flesh and to kind of feel this material, yeah. um, and the quality is just stunning. I mean, absolutely stunning. I mean, you've got again the mesh under panels here. Yep. Um, you know that have been done. I mean, Umbro told me that the way that they've screen printed that the way they printed these these badges on is is bespoke. They're nicely embossed. Um, you know, very, very high quality printing here on the badges. The sponsor just blends in really well. well You've got this beautiful detailing on the back of the, the shirt. The sponsor here is a, this gold kind of metallic yeah, it's print. It's um, phenomenal. Really, really lovely. And a lovely detail that I noticed on the back as well mm. is uh, they, they, they call Al Wassel uh, Club of the Century here with a nice little UAE flag um, pattern underneath it. I'm going to do this. Yeah, bring it up there. Club of the Century, Al Wassel. Uh, really, really oh. nice personalized touch. Of course, they've got the badge with the star above it, which represents five league titles. Yep. Um, Love that. So that's another cool touch as well. But Love just, that. guys, this is a really, really well-made combo of kits here. Um, Tailored, you know, um, great quality uh, finishing, beautiful kind of ribbing in, in all the right places. Like, yeah. just... Just Phenomenal. so happy to have our hands on these. And, yeah. You know, really happy to know that Umbro are actually selling these in the shops. Yeah. You know, it's been quite yeah. hard over the years to get UAE kits. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we've seen some marketing around it. They are front and center in yep. the Umbro shop in Dubai. Yeah. Um, you know, alongside some pretty good national team kits in Ireland, Premier League yep. kit t uh, kits as well in West Ham. West Ham, yeah. Um, you know, and uh, and, and others um, yep. from around the world. Verde Bremen. Verde Bremen will be there. Yep. Schalke will be there. You know, yep. and then you've got Al Wassel. So they really have put these front and center. But, mm. you know, if you're a fan of football in the UAE and you you are an Al Wassel fan, you've got to get this 100%. If you're not an Al Wassel fan, go and get this. <laughs> this is a, you know, one to have in the collection, you know, you can see it glistening in the light here. I mean, Umbro have done an amazing job. Um, you know, it's 
probably the first bespoke effort that we've seen, you know, come out of the UAE for a long time. It is. I mean, oh, look, we're just talking about the Alain kit, and um, but this kind of takes it to another level, oh, right? Yeah. So this was kind of um, we know obviously because we, we've spoken to the team at uh, at Umbro. Big props to Tom. Yeah. Um, thank you for kind of hooking us up with this. It's uh, phenomenal. But he was telling us that how um, they sat and they kind of worked through yeah, they designs worked with the club, and they worked they? with the yeah. club to kind of, you know, uh, to kind of get to this point. Um, you know, they were ambitious. They wanted to try something they've never done uh, this pattern, this colorway, uh, yeah. green and gold before. Yeah. So it's great to kind of to see, you know, to, to see them kind is, of go down this And this is what happens. Route. You know, yeah. you, you, you get a fantastic looking yeah. kit, you yeah. know, and it's... It's something that I would wear. It's something yep. you know that's gonna that's gonna. And look, look let's really let's nice. be fair. Wassel is, is kind of one of the biggest clubs in in the country. Yeah. So I mean, they've got a, a, a solid fan base. Yeah. Um, people will go out and, and purchase this, right? So I look forward to kind of seeing them, you know, dotted yeah. around Dubai. Just arrived yeah. in Dubai. Just arrived in the UAE. So you know, I doubt undoubtedly they'll be promoting it everywhere. No um, you know, you can get it in Dubai, reasonably priced as well. So head on down to the Umbro store and get this. We're super happy with it. Yeah. Can't wait to see it being worn on a few people around town. Yeah. Our number one in terms of UAE kit initiatives is this. And hands down. Hands down. Yeah. Uh, great job by both. And uh, can't wait to see it being worn during the season. Uh, we'd love to see Al Wassel clinch a league title wearing this. Let's Inshallah. see. Inshallah. <laughs> and last but not least, while scouring uh, the digital archives for UAE football kits, we came across quite a unique one by a unique manufacturer um you know there were a lot of other manufacturers in the uae yep. uh you know doing quite standard things yeah but then when we saw this one we were like oh that looks interesting yeah yeah it doesn't it doesn't feel like a template it doesn't doesn't look like anything we've seen before and that's no. kind of what caught our attention you know what it reminds me of What's it that? reminds me of the iceland kit because obviously iceland were okay. before iceland moved to puma yeah. their kit manufacturer was area area Oh wow! Okay. Um, and those patterns that you see on the uh, on the top of the kit there, yeah, are similar, if yeah. not maybe. I'd need to check. Okay, but they look very similar to what Iceland have been wearing. Are they icebergs as well? Could be, <laughs> could be. I mean, I don't know if yeah. there are icebergs in Hatta to no. reveal the club, <laughs> but, but there are mountains. There are mountains, <laughs> so I wonder. Um, Ice Iceland landscape, Hatta landscape. Yeah, yeah, uh, quite yeah. similar. You never yeah, know. Okay. Could be inspired by that, okay. but. Lovely looking kit. You know, yeah, I, re I really liked yeah. how it looked. Um, I, I like that kind of uh, cyan or is it turquoise blue? I think uh, so, yeah. Cy cyan, yeah. Um, yeah, just nice, nice overall pattern and just kind of nothing like we've seen, uh, you know, across the across the UAE. They, yeah. They're mostly templates, Adidas, kind of run-of-the-mill templates. Macron for, you know, as well. Macron. A few of them. Yeah. Puma, um, did, Puma did a couple more that were templated, yeah. but... You know, this one really stands out as a piece yeah. of nice, good-looking design. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it would be if this was in Europe, it would be a cult. Uh, yeah, I think a cult so. Shirt. I think so. It's got a bit of the Ajax away in it as well. You know, the same kind of effect along wrong. the top. You're you know? not wrong. You're um, not if wrong. that if that was a big club in club in Europe, it'd be on the top ten list for many people. I guarantee <laughs> you. But little old Hatter. Yeah. Uh, in the AGL league, um, well worth the trip down there. Really, really nice stadium. Really, really atmospheric. Yeah. Uh, I was there venue. two weeks ago, actually. Gorgeous. Yeah. Just, you know, just scenic drive, but it was uh, beautiful out there. Yeah. Well, fair yeah. Enough. And, and very nice stadium. You, you kind of drive past the stadium on the way into into yeah. the town. I wonder if they've got a club shop. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if that's that's available. We'll we'll check on my next visit to Hatta, but if there is one, we'll pick it up and it will will be on the show. So uh, that rounds off our special kits of the UAE. Uh, hope you've liked watching uh, all the stories behind them. Uh, range of manufacturers, range of initiatives. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really, really like what's going on for around half, if not you know just slightly less than half of the UAE league teams yeah. this year. And I think what's promising is that um, actually the manufacturers are kind of giving this part of the world some attention oh, yeah. which is you know which is really nice to see of course yeah. it's, it's been happening but we're seeing it a lot more this season so yeah. keep it up and uh, we really hope to see more coming out of the uae very very soon thanks very much for tuning in take care all the best <laughs>